Hey guys, what's up? This is Jolly All Gen Gamer here, Christopher. And in this video today, I'm going to show you my Wii U collection. I'm redoing my Wii U collection that I did earlier this year. Some people were saying, well, you did that numbers theme. Why don't you just shape this like a U? So I did. Here it is. Here is the my Wii U collection shaped in a U. So hopefully that satisfies some of you people <laughs> saying that uh, you should have, you know, arranged your Wii U collection in the shape of a U. So here it is. And before we go on in this video, please be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you won't miss any of my latest videos. And also please leave a comment saying I subscribed and I'll try to personally reply to your comment. And then and let me tell me uh, tell me in the comment section below what your favorite Wii U games are. And this is Nintendo's most unpopular console, oh well, aside from the Virtual Boy. But this one is mainstream console. And let's get started now on the Wii U because I feel there's a lot of good games on the Wii U and it was uh, unfairly like canned or it was it had negative press. But I feel the Wii U has some great exclusives that are not yet ported onto the Switch that you should be trying out and playing. And let's get started now. All right. First, we have Super Mario 3D World. And this is my favorite Mario game on the Wii U. But... uh this is the sequel to the one on the 3DS, uh, Super Mario 3D World. And it was the family game of the year, it states here in 2013. So that tells you a lot. Uh, next, we have Brunswick Pro Bowling. Now, you would think that you could use your uh, the Wii Nunchunks. It would be a perfect game for it, but nope. You just use your Nintendo Wii U tablet, really, for this game interestingly enough i don't know but uh yeah i like bowling games and there we go brunswick pro bowling but you can't use the only time you could use the wii nunchucks or the wii remote you can't use it for this game kind of odd because look on the bottom there it just says a, t a picture of the wii u tablet uh next i got this from gamestop it came with a nasty i guess they're trying to hide the price point of it but at least it comes in the original case uh this game is only on the Wii U, but it's crappy. And it is 30 great games. Oh, what was it? Thir Family Party, 30 great games, Obstacle Arcade. I mean, this game reminds me a lot of, like, of course, like, uh, Asteroids. There are some good, you know, family-friendly games, we'll just say. But, yeah, this game is just a shovelware game on the Wii U, which came carried over from the Wii days. Next, we have Lego City Undercover. This was the first port of this game, and this game was exclusive, I guess a time exclusive, on the Wii U because uh, this is, the people are saying this is like a kiddie version of, you know, uh, Grand Theft Auto 5, Grand Theft Auto 4, just in Lego characters. Played the game. It utilized some features that you can't play on later versions because I played, I played the version on the PS4. It doesn't have like this other stuff which is on the gamepad so they had to go back in this game and revamp that and you know remove those features from the wii u so that they can you can play this on ps4 and xbox one and then this was ported as well to the switch uh the switch i don't know i have never played the switch version does it have the features from the wii u carried over to the switch because technically you can do that i don't know please let me know if you play this game on the switch uh next we have i got a disc only game from gamestop because this was the cheapest way to get this game before. Uh, so I printed a cover out uh, for Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. I had played this game in 2015 at my cousin's when we visited them in Canada. And I loved the game a lot, so I decided to get a version, but it was expensive. And then I just got the disc only version on GameStop, thinking it was, wow, that's a good deal for that game. But they just gave a disc. Uh, yeah, this game as well got this game like ported to the Wii. I mean, not the water, what the Wii? I'm sorry, got ported to the Switch. So this used to be a Wii U exclusive. Now it's on the Switch. Uh, this game is Penguins, uh, Madagascar. Uh, it's a platformer game. Uh, I thought it was really fun. It's a good family game. You know, your kids will like the game. Uh, I should probably let my son play this because I uh, this game is. Let me see, when this game come out, 2014? Well, my son back then was only like two or three years old. So, uh, next we have Funky Barn. This game is either a love it or hate it game. 
Some people like it, some people hate it. And this was on the 3DS, I believe as well. But uh, I read some rare Wii U games of this and this is on it because it didn't sell well. So I don't know, Some I guess more people didn't like the game since it didn't sell that well, but it was a decent game. You know, it utilizes the Wii U game cat a lot. That's why they created this game. And it was easy to port over to the 3DS because it uses the same features as the Wii U with the gamepad being on the screen with using a stylus. Uh, so Funky Barn, Wii U. And next we have Sonic Lost World. This game was also on a 3DS. This were the one of the more fun Sonic games uh, aside from the ones like Sonic Generations uh, and the ones back on, you know, Sonic Adventure, uh, Sonic Adventure 2. But yeah, if you like Sonic, you're gonna like this game. I just feel like Sonic games have not been fun. It hasn't been transitioned that well on a 3D uh, platform versus back when he was on 2D. Uh, and that's just my opinion. So Sonic Lost World. Oh, you can also, yeah, I've only played it with the uh, tablet and then the pro controller, but you can play it with the Wii remote as well, which I don't prefer. I don't know. I never liked the Wii setup with the remote and the nunchuck. It doesn't feel natural, you know. Uh, next we have Sonic Boom Rise of the Lyric. This game was commercially canned and a lot of people didn't like this game. I thought this game wasn't as polished as Sonic Lost World. So, uh, yeah. Oh, well, it says here, upgrades, unlock special upgrades with the Nintendo 3DS version, which I've never played the 3DS version. So, uh, more new adventures on. So I guess you can play this game and it will continue or it coincides with the 3DS release. I don't know. I've never played the 3DS version. Uh, next we have... Zelda Wind Waker, one of the better HD remasters. I mean, this game is beautiful when you play it. Uh, I played the one on the GameCube back in the day, and I also have it on my uh, as a Japanese version on my GameCube, my Japanese GameCube. But yeah, this game is. If you haven't played this game, you should play this game, and uh, it's available on the Wii U. And I don't know if this gonna be ported yet again to the Switch. I'm not sure. But this is Nintendo Selects version. It's like the greatest hits version because it was much cheaper to get the greatest hits version than the original version. So and it doesn't come with a nasty like, you know, like the greatest hits for PlayStation. And I don't know Xbox if there are any greatest. I'm not sure. But I know the PlayStation ones have the red, which makes it uglier. So, uh, but yeah, The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD. Next one is the Wonderful 101. This was like an exclusive for the Wii U for the longest time, but now recently I saw it was remastered after a GoFundMe uh, for, it's on PS4 and Windows, I believe. I wanna get the PS4 version so I can, I didn't finish the game, but it was really a unique, unique experience and I would like to play the PS4 version because then it has trophies so I can see what, you know, what extra stuff to do. Pretty cool. This game, uh, was one of the games that hasn't been ported to the... Has it been ported? I don't think it has been ported to the Switch. I don't know. But I know it's been ported to the PS4 because I heard an announcement uh, earlier this year. And it's now released on the PS4 and Windows. Next we have Wii Party U. I played the first Wii Party on uh, Wii. And I wanted to try the follow-up. Uh, this game is fun. It's a good party game and it's a good family game. We party. You. Next we have Marvel Avengers Battle for Earth. Again, it has this nasty sticker from GameStop trying to hide the price, I guess. Uh, and this game also was released on the 360, but that had Connect, which, I don't know, I prefer playing on a gamepad. At least you can play on a gamepad on this. And, uh, yeah, Marvel Avengers Battle for Earth. Next we have... Uh, what do we have here? How to Train Your Dragon 2. I was looking for more Wii U games at the time, and this was only released on the Wii U, I think, 3DS as well, Nintendo consoles. And my son liked the game, liked the uh, movie, so he only played this a little bit. Uh, but, yeah. I, I could have sworn, I think this is only on the Wii U, I think, or it's on PS3 as well, I can't remember. But I got it gotten for the Wii U because my son wanted to play it. 
Uh, there you go. It kind of reminds me of uh, Panzer Dragoon a little bit. Uh, probably I'm really wrong. We were like, that's not Panzer Dragoon. And we have Splatoon. I'm surprised they never ported this to the Switch. They just instead made a whole new game, Splatoon 2. But I haven't played Splatoon 2 yet. So plus Splatoon, this is Endless Hours of Fun. Really fun. One of the defining games on the Wii U, Splatoon. And plus you can use Amiibos. I'm not on Ami I don't have any Amiibos, so good thing I never got into that because I know some people are crazy over Amiibos. Uh, is this Amiibo still popular now? Please let me know. I don't know because I don't collect Amiibos. Uh, I just actually just play the games or I just buy the games or rent the games. I just play the games. I don't care about those collectible things. I just have no room and I know my, my kids would just ruin them. Uh, anyway, back to the collection, we have NES Remix Pack. Here we go. This game hasn't been released yet on the Switch. So this is only on the Wii U. Uh, NES Remix Pack. I like this because you play these old 8-bit games and then you can, you're can you supposed to do different challenges within a lot of time, which I thought was really good. And also, like, collect, you know, whatever, whatever you get. This game would be perfect if it had trophies and achievements because you could just do that. It just feels like this game deserves to have trophies and achievements on it. This is a perfect example but Nintendo doesn't do trophies and achievements. So, uh, next we have a book of run written tales. This was five bucks new with prime shipping on Amazon like last year. And I'm not, I should have looked at the game more. I played it. I don't know. I'm not really into the point and click adventure games. So yeah, the game's okay, but it's not my type of game. I don't know. Maybe there's someone who's watching this. are like, this is my, the greatest game ever. Or this is my favorite game. But not me. I don't really like point-and-click adventure games. Next, I know this has been ported to the Switch. Captain, Co Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. I love this game a lot. People were comparing this game to Rez. Not Rez. Fez. Uh, but, yeah. This was really fun. I like this game a lot. I don't know the difference between this and probably as DLC from all on the, on the game card for the Switch. But yeah, originally came out first on the Wii U, Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. Next we have Mario Tennis Ultra Smash. I could tell you that the follow-up game on the Switch is much better than this game. This game uh, didn't have uh, really a lot of like any story modes. It just had like a lot of, you know, exhibition or yeah, basically they're trying to promote the Amiibo a lot. See, there's like play a doubles match with your Amiibo. And I'm not into Amiibos again, like I said earlier. So, Mario Tennis Alter Smash. Next, uh, well, this game is disc only with their GameStop, you know, well-known, pre-owned, whatever. Hot Wheels World Best Driver. This game is terrible, but um, was on clearance, and I picked it up. I suppose I heard this game is hard to find now. I don't know. Well, please let me know. But yeah, I got a disc only version of Hot Wheels World's Best Driver. Next, I have Zombie U. This game was like a lot. This game was a launch title for the Wii U, and it was just showing the different, like it was just showing the tech demo of what all the gamepad can do for the Wii U. Now, this was ported later on to Xbox One, PS4. Uh, if you wanted a physical version for PS4, Xbox One, I believe it's only available in in Japan and Europe. North America never got one, so if you wanted to play this on those consoles, you could just get it digitally. I have not played this on any other console aside from the Wii U. I just uh, couldn't really get in the game. Maybe maybe without the Wii U gamepad, I could try it again. I don't know. Uh, please let me know if it's worth getting this game physically uh, again on PS4 or Xbox One. Uh, next, I got this for 3 bucks at Half Price Books and Clearance. Walking Dead Survival on the Wii U. I know it's a multi-plat game, but uh, yeah. Haven't played this game yet, though. Please let me know if this is a good game. Uh, next, we have here... I'll pull up my other column. We have Mario Kart 8. Now, an interesting story about this one is Mario Kart 8 is... Uh, I had gotten it, released the disc didn't work on my Wii U, and it kept uh, getting this error on here on the screen. I forgot the error name. So I called nintendo support they sent me a new game and i just sent the old game back to them i don't know i got got gotten it used like new from amazon so 
and there was no scratches on the disc so i don't know if it was just a manufacturing error but yeah this this one works really good and uh yeah i got mario kart 8 and of course it was ported to the switch and i like playing the switch one version better because it has more it has more dlc so uh this is still a great game on the wii u but uh it has been surpassed uh, because of the port on the switch is better Next we have Disney Planes Fire and Rescue. Uh, this game is, I thought it was like the first game for Disney Planes, but it's different by a different developer. It's kind of the same concept, but it felt different. If you played uh, Disney Planes and Rescue, my son liked the movie, so we got the game for it. And this is like Nintendo consoles exclusive. Uh, I think this is also in the 3DS as well. Next, we have Phineas and Ferb Quest for Cool Stuff. It was two bucks on GameStop, but again, disc only, so I had to create my own cover. There you go. Uh, this game, I feel like Phineas and Ferb. Again, my son likes Phineas and Ferb. There's no longer on TV, but uh, yeah, it's a like a platforming puzzle game, if you wanted to know. Uh, next, we have Scribble Knots Unmasked. Uh, this game is like a, uh, you have to draw and then you have to play a scribble knot. I, I mean, the game was fun. Uh, I believe this was ported now to PS4, Xbox One as part of like a scribble knots collection, I think. Uh, next we have <clears throat> Hyrule Warriors, yet another, it was ported onto the Switch as well with all the DLC. So that version has surpassed this version, but yeah, this is basically Dynasty Warriors. Uh... But I like this game a lot. I have not played the one on the Switch, but maybe I should. But anyway, Hyrule Warriors, great take on the Legend of Zelda series with Link and Zelda. Next we have Pikmin 3. Yet another game I just saw recently that's going to be ported to the Switch soon. And uh, yeah, this game was... I love the Pikmin series. Uh, I think my favorite though is Pikmin 2. This game is also really fun. Pikmin 3. So you pick this game up. Uh, well, this will be considerably less now than the Switch version when it comes out. So Pikmin 3. Yet another port. This was ported as well to the Switch. Runbo Deluxe Edition. So a lot of the Wii U games are imported to the Switch. But yeah, this is an indie title. Uh, it's either a love it or hate it game. I thought it was, uh, the concept was really well, uh, well thought out though. So, Runbo Deluxe Edition. Next, we have Rabbids Land, the perfect party game. Uh, basically, it's a party game for the Wii U with a lot of mini games. So, uh, I, had, I played it a little bit, but uh, my son played it more. And then, I don't know why I got this game. It was cheap. It was four bucks. But I already have Sniper Elite v2 on the ps3 so that's why this hasn't been open yet uh, i guess i'll try uh it out sometime but yeah uh next <clears throat> we have another row oops we have ninja gaiden ninja gaiden 3 razor's edge i think this is a variant or a, a definitive version of ninja gaiden 3 because the other ones don't say Razor's Edge on it. But uh, this game was super fun. I love the Ninja Gaiden series. It's actually hard, though, with Hayabusa. But, uh, yeah, I mean, if you wanted to get a good version, I believe the Wii U version is one of the better, better versions, better ports. Uh, next, we have <clears throat> Xenoblade Chronicles X. Now, this game hasn't been ported yet to the Switch, but there was Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Now, I played, like, about 10 hours. There's so many hours in this game you could put into, but I just don't have the time, not like I used to, uh, into playing RPGs. So, uh, but Xenoblade Chronicles X is really good, though. You should check it out. I don't know if it, for me, I don't know if it's better than Xenoblade Chronicles on the Wii, but it's, uh, it's very addicting, this game. Yeah. Next, we have ESPN Sports Connection. I wanted to get... Wii Sports Club, but it was so expensive. And this game was $14.99 half price books, but then it had like 50% uh, off, so I decided to get it. And this game is... Uh, the controls are kind of... Eh, 
or wonky, the gimmicky. So yeah, it's okay. Uh, and this only is on the Wii U. Uh, next we have Warriors Orochi 3 Hyper. Now again, I think this is a like a definitive version because I had no, there's a Warriors Orochi 3. I probably pronounced that wrong. Orochi uh, on the PS3 I had played. So, uh, yeah, correct me if I'm wrong. Is this the definitive version? But I had played it also here as well. And if you like Dynasty Warriors again, you're going to like this game. Uh, next we have, haha, this game hasn't been ported yet to the Switch. Game and Wario. Now, of course, you play different, uh, different party games, mini games with Wario. And you, this shows again like that, like a tech demo of what the gamepad can do. I especially like the one where you like flip, where you're like doing boomerangs. You know, you show you're doing shooting arrows, boomerangs at your enemies based on touch. I thought that was pretty cool and neat. But again, this hasn't been ported to the Switch yet. It could be because you could use the Switch controls and do the same thing. Uh, but yeah, this is not on the Switch yet. Next, we have Nintendo Land. This is the tech demo of, well, that came with the system, of course. So, yeah, this has... Uh, yeah, I had a lot of hours of fun in this. And it showed the Wii U gamepad. So, Nintendo Land. Next, we have Hello Kitty Cruisers. The value of this game has gone down a lot because there's a Switch version. And again, it's kart racing with Hello Kitty. And it read, surprisingly enough, this is Hello Kitty's popular in Japan, but it was not released in Japan. Interesting. But Hello Kitty Cruisers. Next we have Rapala Pro Bass Fishing. I wanted to give a fishing game a chance, and it was cheap. It was less than five bucks, but um, I got bored of the game really quick. Rapala Pro Bass Fishing. And sorry, I had to get some water. I'm getting thirsty, trying endless talking. But I tend to talk a lot in my videos anyway. But uh, let's get back to the collection. We have another row here. We have uh, Mario and Sonic at the Olympics Games, Sochi 2014. Here we go. This game was uh, released on the Wii U and the 3DS. But you're not going to see this anywhere else, you know. But uh, basically, again, it's just a different events with Mario and Sonic characters. Really fun game, I thought. I don't got the 2016, 2016 real version, though, and that's, it goes, it's expensive now. Uh, this game with my system, Skylander Swap Force, uh, my, haven't really played it as much, but this game came with all these figures, well, a bunch of these figures anyway. And at the time, the Wii U white version, 8 gig, was cheaper than the 32 gig version. So, got that. We have Lego, <clears throat> Star Wars, The Force Awakens. Uh, and it's based on the movie. I put playing it. It was fun. Uh, I like Lego games. I didn't finish the game yet, though, so I got to get back to it. We have... This game was hard to find. This has been ported yet to the Switch. And I remember going on January 2nd to find it because this game was hard to find. It was a GameStop, and I had purchased it. Uh, and it was like one or two people, me and another guy. Devil's Third. It was the only, the only copies I had left. Devil's Third. Uh, this game was hard to find. I don't know anymore, but it was really hard to find back in... When did this come out? 2016, I believe. But yeah, Devil's Third. I don't know. It's a third per... You know, it's like a FPS, but uh, the game controls are kind of mediocre. This hasn't been ported yet to the Switch, and I don't know if it will be ported out anyway, but... Uh, yeah, the multiplayer was down it was dead anyway but um yeah i mean i had fun playing this game i just never finished the game it was hard getting harder in the later levels so devil's third next we have adventure time explore the dungeon because i don't know uh i don't know it felt like uh it was really fun i felt like it was a zelda game as well interestingly enough but you know i my son played it he likes the adventure time series so he played it more uh, next, we have Disney's Planes. I like this game because I like these more like these plane, you know, going through different adventures. I liked it. It was fun. You know, fun for all ages. Next, we have 
Bayonetta 2. Now, this is the version. This was released now on the Switch, of course, like a year or two ago. But this version was harder to find Wii U when it first came out because this came with uh, Bayonetta 1. Uh, you know, this they had later versions with just Bayonetta 2 in it. So this is Bayonetta 1 with the Wii U, like a disc, and then Bayonetta 2. Later versions just had Bayonetta 2, and I think that's it. Or And they had a code, I believe, for Bayonetta 1. I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. But I had the one with the physical disc, Bayonetta 1 and Bayonetta 2. Uh, next, we have Transformers Prime. I like the game. I like the Transformers games. It was really fun. And I think this is only available on the Wii U and the 3DS. So, Transformers Prime. And my last row here, I have Yoshi's Woolly World. Out of the graphics were amazing, this game. It was really... But the other game on the Switch has surpassed this game already, I feel. But this is also really fun to play. Well, Yoshi's Woolly World. I forgot the name of the other Yoshi's. I forgot the other game on the Switch. I already forgot. It's escaping my mind right now. Sorry. But yeah, you should pick this game up. If you haven't played done so already, you should play it. It's really fun. Next we have Star Fox Zero. Now this game was a dud. I didn't like this game as much. But this game came with two games actually. Star Fox Zero and then Star Fox Guard. It wasn't as fun as the previous Star Fox games, I felt. I don't know, just just me, but yeah, it didn't feel it didn't feel right. I don't know. But even the packaging is hard to you know, you have to open this up. They should have just done on the side here and go like that. Uh but then next we have Rodea, the Sky Soldier. This game was like in developmental hell, you know. Uh they had this one has both the Wii and the Wii U version and the Wii version is actually better than the Wii U version. I have uh, read, and I played it, and I, I believe that, that the Wii version is better than the Wii U version, which is odd. Uh, this has a reversal cover, if you see. It has uh, the Wii U version on the front, and then it has the Wii version in the back, if you see. Interesting. And it both comes with both the Wii U and the Wii uh, instruction manuals. <laughs> Oh, there you go. And then we have Tank, 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 based on the arcade game. Now, I don't know if this has been ported to the Switch. I don't I don't think so. So this is another game that's stuck on the Wii U and the arcade. But I liked it. It was really fun. It was funny, though. You put your face on the tank, the tank you're controlling. Uh, next, we have Game Party Champions, a shovelware game. I don't know. A guy for a few bucks didn't really like it that much yeah although the skee-ball part was cool i like that part because <laughs> skee-ball was cool when you went to chuck e cheese and stuff <laughs> uh then we have new super mario brothers u and super luigi u and uh this game has been ported to the switch because i am playing it digitally on my switch right now but yeah really fun i like super mario brothers the new one new super mario brothers I don't know. What do you like more, this one or you like 3D World? Please let me know. And then the last game I have is Super Smash Brothers uh, for Wii U. I haven't played the one on the Switch yet, but uh, this game was super fun, and I liked it. Although again, they were promoting the amiibo, uh, was really fun. I mean, all the Smash Brothers games for me have been really fun. So uh, yeah, the game can this game can get addicting, especially with multiplayer. Uh, if you have uh, you know friends over, really fun. Play endless hours of this game. Anyway, that is my Wii U collection, and thank you again for watching my video here on the Wii, my Wii U collection, my updated one. And if you stuck around for this long, thank you, thank you for watching. And until the next video, you take care.